Welcome. So in this series, we're going to talk about our Solution C internal two-piece internal wheel centering sleeves, centering wheels only, not brake drum. Now quickly, we're going to use our demo stand. I do have a drum on here. We at True Balance can't center every manufacturer and part number of drum out there. Okay. You guys running newer equipment or specking equipment with disc brakes, you don't have a brake drum. So you can use our two-piece system that just centers the dual wheels. So, in your kit you have your inner sleeves and outer sleeves. So, what we'll do is we'll show you in this particular demo here. Uh, we can't center this particular drum. So, this is what our inner sleeve looks like. Strictly centers the inner aluminum wheel. We'll just, so it's going to go into the stud hole of your inner aluminum wheel. And it's going to center the wheel. Alright, so we're going to start off at 12 o'clock. We'll make sure we put some kind of a lubricant on this. So we're going to slide the sleeve down the stud and butt it up against the brake drum. Or if you have disc brakes, your rotor. So we're going to do 12 o'clock, or 4 o'clock, and our 8 o'clock. Okay, now we're going to install our inner wheel. So we're going to put our inner wheel on. And we're going to seat our wheel up against the drum or your rotor if you've got disc brakes. At this point, our inner wheel is centered with our sleeves. Now we're going to install our outer wheel. And we're going to grab our external sleeves that are in your kit. And out of habit, normally I always use the same stud my inner sleeves on. Uh, just out of habit, it doesn't make any difference. And if you go off of uh, another stud, they're not going to go any place. Your inner sleeve will not slide on you once everything's torqued down. So we'll start off at our 12 o'clock. And now we'll go over to our 4 o'clock stud. Over to our basically 8 o'clock stud. And at this point, we're ready to put our flange nuts on. Now I'll, I'll torque down uh, and snug up my 12 horn 8, make sure everything's flush and seated. Then after that, I can go around my star formation, torquing all our flange nuts down to the proper manufacturer's proper torque and specs. Just centered my inner and outer wheel. Okay. 